This is ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Well, this is a wake up call for Democrats. Your Democrats, and I told Mr. Jones this, and I love Doug, they've taken the black vote and the poor vote for granted for a long time. African Americans came out in mass in the Alabama Senate race, but there are warnings. Democrats are taking their vote for granted. How can Democrats get more African Americans to come out and vote? Or do Republicans have a golden opportunity? Good evening, everyone. I'm Alan Cohn, and welcome to ABC 7 at 7. We'll have more on taking the African-American vote for granted in a moment, but first, our top seven stories at 7. 26 years after the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed, some Suncoast businesses are still not ADA compliant. In Venice, one resident found out the hard way when earlier this week she had trouble accessing a business. There were no handicap accessible ramps for her motorized wheelchair. The shopping center was built before the ADA was created and was grandfathered in. You tell me that I cannot shop at this shopping center because you don't care whether or not I have access to it. The building owner says he was unaware of the problem and he would look into what needs to be done. A new parking garage will open in what's now Bradenton City Hall parking lot. The city approved the more than half a million dollar contract yesterday. No word on what the garage will look like yet, but according to reports by the Bradenton Herald, at least 100 of those spots are promised to the Spring Hill Suites Hotel across the street. The FBI and the Sarasota Police Department are raising the reward for information in the disappearance of a Sarasota teenager, Japaz Span, to $50,000. Span was 14 years old when he disappeared on September 4th. Detectives have received numerous tips and detectives remain in daily contact with Span's family, but so far there is no new information in the case. If you have any information that could help Sarasota Crime Stoppers, Call 8366-TIPS. Remember, you can remain anonymous when calling in the tip, and it may be a piece of information needed to bring Jabez home. Her teenage son has been missing for over three months now, and now the mother of Jabez Span was apparently behind the wheel during a fatal car accident. A pedestrian was hit and killed this morning while crossing the street in Bradenton. They were crossing U.S. 301 and 15th Street East in Bradenton. The driver of the car is 38-year-old Tawana Span, the mother of the missing teen, Jabez. The pedestrian, whose name has not been released, was pronounced dead early this afternoon. No criminal charges have been filed in the case. A former Punta Gorda police officer charged with manslaughter claims he will not get a fair trial in Charlotte County. Now Lee Cole is asking for the trial to be moved to Broward County because of the extensive publicity in the case. Cole is charged in the shooting death of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton during a police citizen's drill. The gun Cole was firing during the scenario was supposed to have blanks, but instead had real bullets. The Florida Senate is actually considering the merits of repealing Florida's long-standing requirement for drivers to carry personal injury protection insurance. The legislature in 1972 passed a requirement drivers carry $10,000 in personal injury protection insurance in hopes of limiting the number of lawsuits stemming from traffic accidents. It provides benefits to policyholders regardless of who is at fault in the accident. It, it makes sure that um, an emergency room is compensated when someone um, appears for care after a motor vehicle accident. It is one of 10 states to require drivers to carry personal injury insurance. Do you remember the name Clifford Irving and the huge scandal he was involved in? Irving, the man who wrote a phony autobiography of billionaire Howard Hughes, has died in Sarasota. Clifford died Tuesday at a hospice near his Sarasota home. He was 87 and had been suffering from pancreatic cancer. Back in 1971, he convinced McGraw-Hill to pay him $765,000 in an advance for a book about Hughes. His elaborate ruse became a nationwide sensation and was the subject of the 2006 movie The Hoax, starring Richard Gere. Irving served 17 months in federal prison for fraud after Hughes emerged to condemn the book as a fabrication. Now let's head over to ABC7's chief meteorologist Bob Harrigan with the first alert forecast. Bob. 
Well, Alan, I'll tell you, we had, had a beautiful day again. A little bit of fog around. The same old story all week long now. And it's going to be, uh, again, I think the problem tomorrow. Some fog will be around, but beautiful out there in the waters today with some nice calm conditions. Sun has set and... Well, what a beautiful one it was uh, earlier today from the Van Wezel webcam. Currently, we have fair skies and 72, one degree shy of the dew point temperature at 71. And the pressure is fairly high at 3012. That continues to rise and winds are out of the west. Very light, clear skies, light winds and plenty of moisture around. will allow for some more fog to form. And we had a weak front move down into north central Florida and producing some showers. Uh, very isolated to say the least and then that front will continue to sag southward overnight uh, won't really cool things down it will bring us a little better chance for some fog to move in from the gulf of mexico this is the future wind and fog forecast then in some areas so not everyone's going to see the thick fog it should burn off 9 10 o'clock and another gorgeous day on tap for us tomorrow so it looks as though uh, things will stay pretty uh, similar despite the presence of that cold front and as far as temperatures go right now up and down the coast Pretty warm considering this is the start of winter. And if this is the way winter is going to be, uh, it looks like it's going to be a warm one. And with La Nina projected to stay with us uh, for the winter months anyway, it's a weak La Nina. We can expect a rather mild winter here on the west coast of Florida. That, that, that's not to say that we won't see some cold fronts that could produce some rough weather occasionally, but generally overall, Mild. Well, let me tell you something. My son arrived home today from college in the New York area. It was 26 degrees when he left, and he's happy to be back. I'm sure he is. And it's going to get really cold up there. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. All right. Thanks a lot, right. Bob. And still to come, taking the African-American vote for granted, the warning to Democrats from NBA great Charles Barkley in a moment. He's happy to be back. We answered the call of duty and left our homes to serve in far off lands. Now we answer another call, this time at home, in our own communities, to respond in times of chaos, to use our strength, our skills, and our experiences to bring hope amid devastation and destruction. Together, as a team of brothers and sisters, we're continuing our mission to make this country a little stronger and a little better each day. We are Team Rubicon. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Attention blood thinner users. If your loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The widely prescribed blood thinners Xarelto and Pradaxa have been linked to a number of dangerous side effects, including internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, stroke, brain hemorrhaging, and even death. If you or a loved one suffered any of these injuries after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the menu. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. He was relentless on the basketball court, NBA Hall of Famer Charles Barkley. And what he said the night of the Alabama Senate race is having a major impact on politics. Huge African-American turnout helped Democrats do the impossible 
win in Alabama. But Barkley is saying Democrats can no longer take the African-American vote for granted. Dwayne Lindo is here to explain. Well, Alan, as vocal and as controversial Charles Barkley can be, many Democrats are agreeing with him, saying the political reality is that Democrats depend on the black vote, but give the community very little in return. NBA basketball legend Charles Barkley bringing a message to the masses after Democrat Doug Jones' stunning win in the Alabama Senate race. They've always had our votes and they have abused our votes and this is a wake up call. It's a sentiment many local Democrats have been saying for years. Democratic Party just automatically assumed that black and minorities are going to, and the poor, are going to vote Democrat. And that's, I think that's a mistake. I think that uh, the Democratic Party works under an old paradigm of how assuming that if you're a black or minority or poor voter, you're automatically going to align yourself with the Democratic Party. That, that's a dated assumption. Ardell Otten is an activist in the Newtown community. She points to the party not understanding how African Americans view politics in general. That when you give people information constantly and continuously, they can think. They then understand that the Democratic Party values or not um, reflect their personal interests. They don't communicate how the elected officials are making decisions in Congress, in the, in the state houses, that affect the lives of everyday people. She says the black community often gets offended when a candidate only shows up right before an election. They're offended because you haven't given them any information from which to make those decisions on how to vote. The president of the Manatee branch of the NAACP agrees, saying there needs to be an effort of outreach. It seems like everybody comes in the neighborhood during election time and then uh, noticeably absent um, any other time. He stresses that it's not just minorities and the poor being ignored, but younger people have opted out in engaging in the political process, feeling left out. They're disenchanted with the, with the entire government, and so they just choose not to engage. They're, they're like, what difference does it make? You know, whether you got Republican or Democratic rule, you know, our conditions are pretty much the same. And the same applies locally as well, according to Vice President of the Sarasota Democratic Club, Dolores McFarland. They will be the largest voting segment in the next few years that will outmatch uh, the baby, boomer, baby boomers, of which I am a part of that generation. She says there's a history of the party not having a good relationship with the community of baby boomers that is trickling down to the new generation. I am personally committed to fixing that, as well as the other leadership of the Democratic Party here in Sarasota. It's being on the ground, it's being committed, it's getting involved in community activities, it's showing up for their events, for their parties, for their celebrations. The bottom line for those involved in the party, a grassroots effort in getting minorities involved. But we need more African Americans in Sarasota County to get involved in local politics. And so that's what my passion is right now. Uh, I often advocate that the, the community needs to focus on the city commissioners, the county commissioners, because those are the people who are right here in their communities who do the same thing. They come and ask for your vote. And for Jones, it doesn't matter which party steps up. He says he's gearing up for what's important. We, we're born and raised Democrats, but we vote on issues. Uh, we vote on what's important for, for my community, what, what's important for my neighbors, my church, my family. That's what we vote on. And I don't care who brings it to the table. It can be a Democrat, Republican, Independent. I could care less. Alan, getting back to Alabama's Senate race, some point the Doug Jones win as a step forward for minority voting and Democrats, but feel the allegations against more help push Democrats to get that win. Dwayne, thank you. Coming up, an extraordinary panel from a three-time Super Bowl champion, the NAACP and both the Democratic and Republican parties, all at one trapezoid. Stay tuned. Listen to this important message. If you owe money to the IRS, you will want to hear this. Penalties and interest compound daily on your back taxes, putting you under a mountain of debt. Tax 10,000 has years of experience connecting people with tax resolution specialists. 
Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, they will handle all the necessary forms, and if you qualify, you may end up saving thousands of dollars. Call Tax 10,000 at 800-817-1064. Glasses and contacts. You need them to see, but they put such a strain on your life, you miss precious moments. Due to new advances in vision improvement technology, LASIK is now affordable for almost everyone. With procedures starting as low as $299 per eye and over 1 million procedures performed by our trusted independent surgeons, LASIK surgery is a sensible, safe, and affordable solution to improve your vision. Our simple three-step process begins with a free evaluation, followed by an extensive pre-operative exam to determine if you're a candidate for LASIK eye surgery. Depending on the results of your evaluation and eye exam, you and your surgeon will choose the LASIK option that works best for you. So call now to talk to a LASIK Vision Institute counselor and schedule your free evaluation. That's a $100 value free. Call the LASIK Vision Institute for your free evaluation and enjoy more of your life. Call 1-800-813-0109. 1-800-813-0109. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. Welcome back. Charles Barkley says Democrats should see it as a wake-up call. Republicans see it as an opportunity. No one is debating the huge African-American turnout earlier this month is the reason Democrats did the seemingly impossible win a statewide race in Alabama. But here's the reality. African-American turnout was down in last year's presidential election. It was also down in 2012 when President Obama won re-election. And if Democrats have any aspiration, aspiration of winning in Florida, and dare I say here on the Sun Coast, they better figure out how to reverse that trend. And joining us for more is Dee McFarlane of the Sarasota Democratic Party, three-time Super Bowl champion, I love saying that, and former Democratic <laughs> congressional candidate Henry Lawrence, Rod Thompson, of the founder of the RevolutionaryAct.com, and Rodney Jones, president of the Manatee County NAACP. Um, Dee, first let me ask you, what is the, the African-American voter registration here in Sarasota County? Just looked it up on the Supervisor of Elections website. We have a little over 10,000 African-American registered voters in Sarasota County, which is about 1,000 registered voters less than Hispanics, interestingly enough. And that constitutes probably about 4% of the voters in Sarasota County. And do you know in recent... Re elections what the actual vote was in terms of what percentage of the vote came out I have not been able to I can get that information for you but I don't know it right off the top of my head as you said though and I agree and I think the numbers would show that the 2016 turnout was uh, was very low Right. Uh, not only in the African-American community, but in the community overall. All right. So let's again remind viewers what Charles Barkley said on election night in Alabama. Well, this is a wake-up call for Democrats. Your Democrats, and I told Mr. Jones this, and I love Doug, they've taken the black vote and the poor vote for granted for a long time. It's time for them to get off their ass and start making life better for black folks and people who are poor. They've always had our votes and they have abused our votes and this is a wake up call. We got it in a great position now, but this is a wake up call for Democrats to do better for black people and poor white people. 
You know, Henry, you ran for Congress uh, in 2014 against Vernon Buchanan, um, and I know that you were less than impressed in terms of the support you got from the Democratic Party. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I think that in, in a small, well, not in a small way, but we've got to stop the Democratic uh, people that are running things, got to stop playing God. You what know, you and deciding, well, is this person viable? Uh, is that person viable? And this one is. And then you pick and choose. I was uh, deemed uh, not a viable candidate. And uh, that's a sad, sad situation uh, because uh, the party is supposed to put everything that they have behind candidates. I was the only Democratic candidate, but I didn't get a single finger lifted from the head of the party. You know, so that has to stop. You know, we have to stop playing God and support the candidates, whether they're black, white, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. And, and Rodney, when, when we, when Dee says that African American the turnout was was down in the last presidential election uh, and before that, even when Obama won for re-election, are these some of the reasons why? Yeah, I think generally. Uh, Democrats have, uh, the Democratic Party has definitely, and I'm a Democrat, has definitely taken the black and poor vote for granted. They automatically assume that we're going to vote that way. Uh, the Republican Party is, I must say, almost taboo uh, to, to the minority community, the perception that, you know, most uh, black people have of the Republican Party. So when you talk about image, they've got a lot of work to do um, to, to try to correct any image to... Um, get that black vote of, of, of any substance. You know, Rod, you were on this broadcast last week saying that this is a golden opportunity for the Republican Party to make inroads in the African-American community. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, um, it is because I think that just as you're hearing this panel here, just as you saw um, on the lead up to it in Dwayne's package there, there's a lot of dissat dissatisfaction among um, black Democrats with the Democrat Party. I think they have been taken for granted. I think Democrat policies have not worked for blacks, or for anyone really, but particularly not for blacks. Under Barack Obama, they did considerably worse. And under Obama, or under Trump now, they're actually doing better. So I think it's a huge opportunity. But there are major challenges for the Republican Party in, in meeting that opportunity. And we are going to talk about that in just a moment. We are just getting warmed up, and we'll have much more on Charles Barkley's warning to Democrats right after we check the first alert weather. Stay with us. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. 
put more space in your place at the More Space Place. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Our conversation on the African-American vote continues right after we get a check on the first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrington. Thanks, Alan. A cold front for this first day of winter, officially starting this morning at 1128. Uh, not much to this front, though. It's going to uh, eventually fade away. We're still seeing this west wind, and that's keeping us warm. Today's highs were in the upper 70s, and it looks as though our lows tonight will be unseasonably warm into the low to mid-60s. Our average low for this time of year, right around 53, 54 degrees, so well above it. A few showers associated with the front, not much. As it continues to sink southward, it will weaken and high pressure will build in behind it. That means warm weather to continue for the next couple of days at least. Dew point temperatures are what we look for on these weak fronts, and they have dropped to the north of us into the 50s there. That's typical, by the way, for this time of year. Uh, our dew point summer like reading at 71 degrees. That's what it gets in the summer uh, for those dew points, and that makes uh, high humidity around, and that will allow that fog to form under clear skies and light winds basically out of the west at 5 miles an hour. The humidity at 97%. We have a barometer at 3012. That's high. And that continues to stay with us right now. And there's the temperature, 78, 6 degrees above the average of 72. And not close to the record, though, 87 set back in 2013. No rainfall to report. And it looks as though we'll see another front move through on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And that will bring us a chance for a few more showers around a little bit more than we're seeing with this front. Current temperature is cooler behind the front. Low 60s there in Tallahassee and Jacksonville. Out ahead of it, still pretty warm, 76 in Miami, 74 in Key West. And around town in the mid-70s in Arcadia, Wachula, Sebring, Lake Placid, and uh, Northport, you're at 73. The same as the Gulf water temperature, which is at 73 degrees, and that too running above average. Well, the future cast is showing uh, this front fades away. Some fog around to start things off tomorrow morning. Should burn off, though, revealing partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies tomorrow. We'll look for high temperatures to respond to that sun, too above average and then uh, Friday it looks like uh, Saturday morning not as much fog there's still a chance we could see some and Saturday looks to be great Sunday looks to be great too there's the front passing by a line of thin showers fading away over the rest of the US fairly quiet weather right now but Arctic air is expected to move on down across much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation the big chill will be on after we get through Christmas and it looks like we'll end the year 2017 on a very cold note across the U.S. You'll see that in a little bit. Right now it's 12 in Minot, 15 in Denver. A bit warmer in St. Louis, though, at 55 degrees and 39 in the nation's capital. The long-range models, now this is after Christmas. This starts at December 25th. We'll still be into the mid-70s here across Florida. I'll put the map into motion. And you see all this pink here and purple? Well, that starts to drive southward, and that's that extreme Arctic air where temperatures will be below zero through much of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the Dakotas on the last day of 2017. Some of that cooler air will filter our way. And by the way, uh, the uh, snow will be falling as far south as Kansas. This is all the snow we can predict over the next couple of days, all the way down into the mountains of North Carolina. Well, for boaters, it looks like this. We'll see some fog in the morning and then that fog burning off and then revealing partly cloudy skies. The extended forecast looks like this. Some fog in the morning looks good uh, for the weekend. The Christmas Eve, 78. Christmas Day, just a little bit cooler due to that next front. We'll have a few showers around late Sunday night and into Monday morning. The clouds will stick around too on Christmas Day. And then clearing and warming back up quickly by Thursday back into the upper 70s. Al will be back with his guests right after this. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace? Call Back Brace America at 1-800-683-9262. 
This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Good morning, I'm Stephanie Webb. We're going to get you ready for the merriest 5K of the season. The sixth annual Jingle 5K on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch is set to go. We're going to tell you how you can get your run on. That's tomorrow morning on Good Morning Sun Coast. Sun Coast. John? So we're watching an area of disturbed weather back to the west advancing that could bring us changes. Christmas, we'll talk about it. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. Welcome back. On election night in Alabama, former NBA star Charles Barkley warned Democrats they better get off their ass and start making life better for black folks and the poor. Have Democrats been taking advantage of the African-American vote for granted for years here on the Sun Coast? Do the Republicans have a real opportunity to pick up votes in the minority community? Do they even care? Joining us for more is Dee McFarland of the Sarasota Democratic Party, three-time Super Bowl champion and former Democratic congressional candidate Henry Lawrence, Rod Thompson, of the founder of the Revolutionary.com, and Ronnie Jones, president of the Manatee County NAACP. And Rod, we're going to start with you because we've been talking about whether or not Republicans have a chance to at least take a good bite out of the African-American uh, community in terms of voters. President Trump tried to do that when he was running for election, and he did it by saying this. Look how much African-American communities have suffered under Democratic control. To those I say the following, what do you have to lose? We all remember that, but Rod, in the interim, We've had situations where when white supremacists marched on Charlottesville, the president said there were fine people on both sides. Uh, And it does not seem that he has made a lot of inroads in the community in terms of what he has done, at least visibly at the White House. He only had one uh, high-ranking African-American member of his staff, Amarosa, who is basically fired or resigned last week. So what efforts are Republicans, or at least the president, doing to uh, get more support among African-Americans? So Trump's probably pretty tone deaf on this issue, like he is on a lot of issues. So after Charlottesville, he just totally muffed that. Um, but if you, if you look at Trump's policies, uh, they've been actually a lot better for everybody. But certainly, if you talk about employment, school choice, vouchers, that sort of thing is going to be better for American blacks um, than Obama's policies. But as to your point in, in the lead up, your question, one of your questions was, do they even care? Yes, the Republican Party does care. We do want to make inroads into the black community. It's ironic that I'm on the panel here with um, Rodney Jones because um, we met uh, many years ago when he took exception to something that um, Party Chairman Joe Gruders had written at the time. We met at a Starbucks, had a long conversation. I tried to flip him because um, we sort of spoke a lot of the same language. You know, we weren't that far apart on issues. 
Um, but in the end, it didn't work. He's still a Democrat. I'm still a Republican. And so it, it goes to the point of how difficult it is for Republicans to make inroads in the black community when blacks are, it was said in there, born and raised a Democrat. Well, okay, so, said. Rodney, so let me tricky. ask you the question. Is the African-American community simply not listening to Republicans when they make their pitch? I think the uh, Republican Party has a, a, a long history of uh, discounting the black vote as well, um, basically not needing it. Um, even in Manatee County, we're a, a red county, and during the uh, election time, you rarely see any signs uh, from people running on the black side of the uh, community. And I say black side of town because it's still very segregated. So both, both parties, not only Republican, Republicans are going to have a, they better have a, a, a rabbit's foot and a, and a magic wand uh, to get into the black community. It's going to be tough. Let me it's ask you this question. You know, Dee, you talked about the number of African American registered voters in Sarasota County. Henry, you know what the lay of the land is in this congressional district. Why doesn't the community push its weight around? You can say to the Democrats, if you want any shot at actually winning anything around here, you got to come here and tell us what you're going to do. Henry? Henry, you want to go first? No, you go. No, you go. No, okay, D. What? All right, go ahead. Well, basically, I, I think that what happens is that it all comes about when it's time for the election. But what's happening with a lot of the voters, not just blacks, um, they're not going to the poll. Was, if sit back and you start complaining, but you got to get out front of it. Like Rob was just telling me about the situation here in Manatee County with the overpass. You know, you got to get out front of it. We've been discounted. And it's, it's definitely time that the blacks, Hispanics, and the people that are not so rich start uh, looking at what's good for them. And I'm not saying it's got to be a Democrat and it's got to be a Republican, but it's got to be making somebody accountable. And we have not done that. Traditionally, we have not made people be accountable to us. Well, you certainly have the numbers to de demand it. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you could come out and just say, we're not going to the polls at all unless you come here and tell us what, what your plan is mm -hmm. to make things better in Newtown. Mm -hmm. That's easy in to Braden say, but uh, the, the thing, that's what I'm saying. We're not going to the poll. Well, many of them are not going to the poll, and that's what needs to happen. They need to go to the poll and make a statement yeah. at the poll. But, but Dee, we just saw in Alabama what happens when the African-American community becomes uh, determined to bring about change. You can do the impossible. What happened in Alabama, Alan, was really a perfect storm. You had a very flawed Republican candidate that actually embarrassed the otherwise loyal registered Republicans in the state of Alabama. But on the other hand, too, you had a very stellar Democratic candidate uh, that the people knew. He had a track record. He had, as a prosecutor, brought to bear the justice uh, for the KKK men who had bombed the church in the early 1960s and killed those four little girls in Birmingham. So he had a very good reputation. So what I'm saying is that there in Alabama, we need to transfer that philosophy here to Sarasota County. Democrats, and I won't speak for Manatee County, but the Democrats in Sarasota, and I'll speak for the party uh, elected officials, we are doing more. That it has been a very troubled past, but we are doing more to engage in the community and not just show up in an election year and say you've got to get out the vote. You know, Rod, I'll ask the same thing to the Republican Party. I remember going to the MLK breakfast, not this past year, but the year before, and Vern Buchanan was there, and, and he gets a lot of the props for doing so. <coughs> On the other hand, it, it was the first time in years he had been there. Right. I think the problem is really with the Republican Party, and it's, it's an accurate charge. The Republican Party has sort of ignored the black vote, but part of that is because it's been, no matter what, it's about 90% Democrat, and at some point the Republican Party says, all right, here's our resources, we're going to put them in this place or this place, and they don't reach out. I personally think that's a mistake. I think we need to make inroads in a generational sense and explain why conservative principles are better for blacks than liberal principles, and I think that that's a message that will resound um, in black households and black families. Um, but if we don't do that, then we're just 
uh, continually giving the Democrats that 90% vote, and then they take it for granted because they get it every time, too, and the losers in it are the black voters. You know, Rodney, I remember you telling me that one of the big problems in the African-American community are, are millennials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, millennials are not voting enough, and they don't really understand how voting one way or the other can impact their life in any way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. I, um, in all communities, I think, I, I've heard it time and time again that uh, they have just that uh, posture um, that they don't believe that they need to engage in, in the political process, um, thinks they, they can do it on their own. Um, but, you know, hearing that, you know, hearing the conversation here, you know, and just drift back to the black community for one second, um, it's almost like I'm hearing like a dialogue about like the black community actually needs politics to to do well we really don't you know we have we have the power within ourselves to to heal our own communities because we were actually stronger communities uh actually pre-integration i mean it's a it's a research proven fact if you look at that and so the politics right now i'm kind of republican democrat it doesn't matter if you bring good ideas to the table we'll take a look at them henry i want to give you the last word on this segment do you see any particular effort right now by democrats or republicans to reach out to the community I, I have seen some some change. I've seen uh, correspondence from our congressman, which uh, prior to, as far as I know, me running was not. We were not kept abreast of things. We were not asked. We were not going into our communities and having meetings so that people can hear what you're doing. And I still feel that there are many things that they need to make available to the communities that are available from up in D.C. Uh, to the people that are the poor people, blacks, so that, that there are so many opportunities that they're not exposing us to. All right, we have to take another quick break, and we'll be back for final thoughts in a moment. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. And our guests join us right now for final thoughts. So, Dee, uh, you're with the Democratic Party of, of Sarasota County. You hear that voter uh, turnout in the African American community was down in 2016. It mm -hmm. was down in 2014 uh, mm -hmm. or 2012. Mm -hmm. What is the party doing about it? What we're doing about it, Alan, is just getting more involved in the community on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. But let me say this. I agree to a certain extent to what Mr. Jones said about 
the younger generation, or just to say voters in, in, at large, are not that engaged in politics and don't think it's important and that it doesn't affect them. It does affect them. The dog catcher that you voted for affects your life. County commissioner, city commissioner, it all affects you. Right. And so we need more education to the public to let them know how their vote counts. And Henry, as a former candidate, what do you want people to know? I want them to know that they've got to go all the way in. They've got to, they've got to cast their vote. They've got to let their candidates, their representatives know they're not happy with what they're doing. You know, uh, you commented that uh, President Obama didn't do anything, but President Obama was pretty tied up because of a Republican uh, party there, Congress, you know, and that's, that's not how it's supposed to be. Right. Uh, to Rodney's point in the last segment, um, that's exactly right. The black community has uh, uh, plenty of strength in itself. It doesn't need government to bail it out. It doesn't need government help. It doesn't need to be relying on government, just like the rest of Americans. And this is a conservative principle. Forget about parties. This is a conservative principle that goes back to our founding. individual liberty, limited government, and I think that that would be better for the black community also. Rodney, what we saw in Alabama earlier this month, was that just kind of a flash, a moment in, in history, or is it something that, that you know, community leaders like you look at and say, if they can do that there, we can do that here? Well, I, I think it, it's somewhat jaded because um, in the Democratic Party should not develop that as a strategy of winning and think that that is something special because it's not. He ran against a man that had been, been accused of doing stuff with small children. That had a lot to do with that vote. You know, we kind of talk all around that, but that had a lot to do with that vote. Let's be honest about it. And so they shouldn't develop that as a strategy, and I just think that um, they narrowly won, I think, by four percentage points with, with the man that had carried some baggage with him into the election. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Uh, thank you uh, all for joining us tonight. FIYI, you can watch past discussions on demand. They're available on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. And for the latest on local breaking news, don't forget to download the updated version of our app. If your current app doesn't work, it's expired. Just go to the App Store and re-download it by searching for WWSB or My Sun Coast. We want to thank all our guests for being here tonight. Dee McFarlane of the Sarasota Democratic Party, three-time Super Bowl champion and former Democratic congressional candidate Henry Lawrence, Rod Thompson, founder of the revolutionaryact.com and Rodney Jones, president of the Manatee County NAACP. When we return, we'll have a look at your first alert weather, plus the UN voting against President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. What does this mean? We'll tell you after the break. Do you have type 2 diabetes, which requires daily blood monitoring? If you have diabetes, are you on Medicare, Obamacare, or other health insurance? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for diabetic testing supplies at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. Our accredited staff will handle all of your paperwork for free. And best of all, your diabetic testing supplies are shipped directly to your home for free. Call now to see if you qualify for a meter upgrade and a free pedometer to monitor your daily walking. Use alternate testing sites, a smaller blood sample, and even hear your results out loud. Will you qualify for diabetic testing supplies and an upgraded meter? Meter covered by Medicare, Obamacare, or health insurance at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you? Find out for free by calling the Diabetes Resource Center at 1-800-394-1098. That's 1-800-394-1098. 1-800-394-1098. Santa's on his way with gifts galore, so here are some apps to help you get more. More from your TV on Roku and Fire, and an Alexa skill that you can acquire. More from your phone when you're on the go. Get breaking news and weather and be in the know. So while you're avoiding Cousin Eugene, live stream the news on your iPhone screen. Download the apps that are clearly better and put on your best ugly Christmas sweater. ABC7 is on your favorite device. Download today, whether you're naughty or nice. So I kind of grew up all across the country. I come from five generations of military men. My dad is still active duty. My grandpa is retired Marines. I like going for runs with my dog. I love, you know, taking her out to the dog beach over in Venice. There are so many things here to do on the Sun Coast. My goal every day when I come into work at ABC7 is to tell your stories, give you that major local news and those details that you really care about. I'm Jacqueline Matter and I'm here for you. 
Your primetime headlines are coming up in a moment, but right now let's get the final check on your first word forecast from Chief Meteorologist Bob Harris. Bob. Did you feel it uh, this morning, Alan? I'm sure you did. You stepped outside and said, here comes winter, right? Uh, and the uh, winter officially arriving. The winter solstice, solstice meaning sun stops. So it's stopped its farthest uh, progression to the south, at least the direct rays over the uh, southern hemisphere. It started at 1128 today and uh, we didn't feel much. In fact, temperatures are actually gonna be a little warmer tomorrow. Polar energy greatest in the southern hemisphere. That's where the tropical season is starting too down there as ours has departed now. Uh, the Titan radar picture indicating a front nearby that is fading away. Warm temperatures continue. We have this southwest to westerly wind component which is bringing high humidity around and that fog is uh, going to be a real concern I think uh, for folks out there in the waters tomorrow and uh, commuters alike. A few light rain showers with that weak cold front as it continues to push to the south and for the most part break up. Temperatures behind the front dew point temperatures are much cooler uh, and out ahead of it still very warm summer like readings in the low 70s uh, currently as far as our current temperature goes it's 72 we have a barometer way up there 30 12 and that continues to uh, rise and as far as the future cast goes there's the weak front at least this model depicting it associated with that area of low pressure that front will push to the south and fade away a few showers on the east coast uh, late tonight and tomorrow morning for us uh, just the potential for some fog that will be about the only downside to our weather uh, over the upcoming weekend and then another cold front will slice through you can see the beginnings of it now moving through the panhandle not much to it there may be a little bit of a return moisture uh, late sunday christmas eve and christmas day bringing with it a chance for a few showers around a little bit better chance but still not much uh, for some rainfall it looks like on uh, christmas morning now the satellite and radar imagery showing mainly the showers and uh, snow showers pushing off to the the east. You can see a little bit of that activity over Iowa and temperatures right now very cold in Montreal and Ottawa 9 there, 10 in Ottawa, 27 in Toronto, Detroit at 34 and single digits in Rapid, Rapid City and Bismarck in North Dakota now. A much colder air as well down south in Oklahoma City, 48 degrees and 53 now in Atlanta and 55 into Macon. Well, the forecast for voters looks good despite the fact we may see a little fog around. Uh, temperatures uh, will be mild out there in the water. Smooth conditions of water temperature 73. Typically this time of year it's in the mid uh, mid 60s for the most part. The UV index at a six. Tides up coming for Sarasota Bay. The next uh, high tide will be at 117. That's tomorrow morning it should read. And again, the sunrise will be at 716. Mostly fair. More fog for us and uh, winds will be out of the northwest. Very light at five miles an hour. It will be a warm start tomorrow, 65 degrees. And then tomorrow the fog around burning off, partly cloudy, 80 for your high. We'll have an east wind at five miles an hour. Now the extended forecast shapes up like this. So we have the fog tomorrow, but still a nice afternoon. Temperatures warming, staying warm uh, right through Sunday with Christmas Eve. And we're looking at generally fair skies, increasing clouds late in the day as the cold front approaches. And that rain chance at about 30% uh, for a few showers. It gets a little cooler. On Monday, there'll be some clouds around, maybe a few brief showers. Should not be a total rain out at this point. And then we'll start to gradually warm back up. And by Wednesday and Thursday, back above average into the mid to upper 70s. Alan will be back with primetime headlines right after this. Stick around. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. 
We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment, and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, it's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. Everyone's buzzing about Suncoast View. I like watching the Suncoast View. I like the Suncoast View. The cooking segments, I love the recipes. The theater segments are terrific. They're just fun. For smart, fun talk in the afternoon, watch Suncoast View, weekdays at 4 on ABC7. Checking primetime headlines, President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel sparked days of protests in the Holy City and surrounding territories. Now it is splitting apart the United Nations. Today, leaders voting in favor of a resolution that goes against President Trump's decision. ABC's Maggie Rooley has the latest. In an emergency meeting of the United Nations General Assembly, countries overwhelmingly voted in favor of a non-binding resolution declaring the Trump administration's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital null and void. This vote will be remembered. The lopsided 128 to 9 vote, a formal rejection of the Trump administration's decision to move its embassy to Jerusalem. While previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. Backing the president, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley threatened to cut off money from any countries who voted against the United States. The United States will remember this day in which it was singled out for attack in the General Assembly for the very act of exercising our right as a sovereign nation. Many longtime allies like the UK and France parting ways with the US and others like Canada, Australia and Mexico were noticeably absent and abstained. The Palestinians and their Arab and Islamic supporters asked for the General Assembly vote, saying President Trump's bullying and blackmail tactics would not be tolerated. We appreciate very much that the majority of the international community decided, in spite of the threats and intimidation of the United States, to stand tall and to stand shoulder to shoulder with wisdom far-sightedness, international law. Israel, which celebrated the president's decision earlier this month, joined the U.S. in voting against the measure. Nikki Haley says that despite today's vote, America still recognizes Jerusalem as Israel's capital and still plans to move their embassy to the holy city. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Tax bill done. Now Congress has to keep the government open. Republicans just passed a short-term deal to keep the U.S. government open through the end of the year. The spending bill will fund the government until January 19th. The bill will extend the Children's Health Insurance Program through March. The deal does not address DACA or hurricane disaster aid. And that's all the time we have for this evening. I'm Alan Cohn. Thanks for joining us. Have a great show.